lockdown. Jeremy Corbyn was the clear victor, winning in the first round with 59.5% of the vote. Andy Burnham got 19%, Yvette Cooper 17% and Liz Kendall 4.5%. Uh, let's get some reaction from our political correspondent Romilly Weeks now. Uh, Romilly, Mr Corbyn's victory was predicted but the scale of that victory is still a shock, isn't it? Yes, in the end it wasn't even close. Jeremy Corbyn, the man who only scraped it onto the ballot paper, the man who's been an MP for 32 years without holding any front bench post is the new Labour leader, leaving his closest rival, Andy Burnham, absolutely trailing. So Labour now enters a new phase in its history with a leader whose priorities are far more left-wing than leaders in recent history. Let's hear what he had to say about the campaign. It showed our party and our movement passionate, democratic, diverse, united and absolutely determined in our quest for a decent and better society that is possible for all. Jeremy Corbyn's career up to date has been as a serial rebel against previous Labour leaders. Now he is the leader of Her Majesty's opposition himself. He has to carry forward the hopes of the Labour Party, a newly energised Labour Party, certainly, but one that is also polarised. Romilly, for now, thank you very much. A reminder then that Jeremy Corbyn is the clear victor in the Labour leadership elections. And of course, we will have more on that and, and reaction and anal analysis on the evening news. That's with Charlene White at half past four. For now, though, from all of us here, do have a very good afternoon. Bye bye.